Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Timeyar Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mal, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can make um, a trend in the software and show historical data. Okay, so let's go to the software. Okay, there we go. So, let's start with a new project. I'm going to create just a variable for us to play with. So it's going to be this one. It's going to be my, uh, I don't know, my variable. Okay. It can be from a PLC, from a different system. In this case, just for showing purposes. So now that we have the variable that I can get from the PLC or internal, all we need to do is to use the login. As I've shown you before, create a login group, my logs, my logs. Here we just need to define how this data is going to be stored on the control on the HMI. Here is going to be my frequency for one second, and here is the max records. It's going to be the max record I'm going to have for this device, for this variable. Okay. So if you use, for example, the frequency one second, and you put 60 here, the max data that you will have will be for a minute. Okay, that will be your historical data. And that's it. Okay, so you need to be cautious on this value in order to know how it's going to be your historical data. Okay, and if there is an issue over here on the logins, you can specify where you want to log this information. Okay, backup memory is going to be the internal or USB. And how this is going to be working. Overwrite the old data or stop logging. And the reason I mentioned this is because here, uh, ta -ta -ta, in the target, we have here the capacity okay, for logs. So imagine that uh, my log. So I have this variable that, I don't know, if I want to store, let me just open the calculator. So this is going to be uh, a minute. Okay. So if you want to have um, an hour, okay. And if you want to have for a day, okay. This number you put here. Okay, six four hundred, which is okay. Now, if you go to the target, you can see the size, okay, and you can see how it is exists. So, in this particular case, then if you want to have this amount of information, then you will probably need to go for a external, okay, to use a SD uh, USB storage, okay. And something that happens when you use the USB is that you need to leave it plugged over there. I don't know in the newer version you can uh, make a stop of the log, retrieve the data and then continue. That's something that I need to double check later. But this is the thing that you need to be cautious here. Okay. Um, so here again, I'm going to use only um 30 seconds it's going to be my my whole historical data oh, let's use 60. okay so um here we just need to add the variable that we have created word and that's it so now that we have this okay it's important to uh use here on the screen so now that I have that variable already configured, I know the frequency that I'm going to show this information and how often it's going to be stored. What we need to do is to um, put on the screen the trend. So be careful here because we have block trend and trend graph, which is totally different. So trend, this is the one that we need to use. Good, brilliant. Now, 
I'm going to use this numeric display just to show the variable so I can play with it. Okay, there we go. Uh, here. Here it would ask you for uh, the group. Just my logs, the, the one that I have already created. On the channel here, we just have the possibility to add a variable. The variable must be the one that is called on the logs. Otherwise, this will not work. Okay. So then we can play a little bit more with the percentage, um, how this information is going to be shown. Um, uh, if I don't already explained that in the previous one. Okay. Du, 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 du. That's okay. You have to do this. Du, du, du. Du, du, du. Display axis. Yeah, we can leave it at that. Okay, so just to show you that this works, uh, I'm going to device simulate. Okay, there we go. As you can see here, zero. If I use 50, I just go there. Okay, we need to be also careful here. <coughs> In the interval here is going to be a minute so i'm going to use seconds and i'm going to show only 10 seconds on the on the actual then i can move this to show different things so in this uh, uh, 15 seconds my whole data is going to be 60 the one i explained and this was only 50 sec 50 seconds only so i'm going to have to simulate this again Good. And now I'm going to put myself here up. Good. So here it's going to be like that. Here, take a look at the size of this 0, 15. And the new data is going to override or it's not going to be shown here. Now, how we can go to change these to historical? Good. So the first thing is that we need to understand that we can go here and access to the variables inside the trend. So here I'm going to change this to uh, my trend, my trend. Okay, I'm going to access to this information inside. Graphic objects here, my trend. You have a lot of things, okay? So you can assign to a variable and then modify it. What I'm going to do is to use the mode. The mode is the one that changed this to uh, a different one. So I'm going to simulate this again. Okay. Mm -hmm. 15. 45. 78, 60, and 12. You can see the data, the old data. So if I change this to 1, it changed the mode, okay, and it will appear this cursor. And this will allow me to see the information that I want. If you have the possibility to do this, you can also do that. This is the cursor for time, and then if I don't run, we have another one for this. But I will show that later. So this is how you can change this to put it as a historical. Then if you want the actual, you just zero and then just go to the standard view. Okay, so that's the easiest way to do it. Okay, now let's do it a little bit more proper this time. So switch. We can use this to change the mode. Switch mode. Okay. Uh, text mode. Then I'm going to use the off lamp 
to show okay which is the actual mode that i'm working with so here i'm going to use the graphic offset my trend and i'm going to use the the mode that i showed you before that was here this is one way off it's gonna be actual value and this one's gonna be historical historical and so when you change you will do the trick so now the switch how this can work so if we go to the script and go to click here uh to, 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 click object it's going to be the graphical display uh switch mode when i touch the switch button okay then what i can do is to do where is it the operation trend graph change the mode for my trend okay so that will do the trick to change that the mode so you need to remember that you just need to assign the number one okay then mode story and there you can see that we have that okay then if you don't want to use those displayed over there let's create a few things here uh, so let's move like that switch old switch new for new value so script i'm going to copy this the same ctrl c ctrl b graphic option i'm going to use the new and here we can specify to the plot okay to a new time seconds five seconds i'm going to do the same for to the past old now that's going to be for the time to move it and then if i want to move the cursor so let me just put here cursor I can move this to copy and paste. Switch cursor, cursor on, cursor, cursor. Yeah. Script. Cursor new new the data point cursor to new one point from one and old so we just move in one to past so basically this is what we need to screen um then probably we can assign something here to make it available we can play with this um zero da, da, da. we can play with this let me see zero is visible and one is invisible so here we can play with this graphic let's see if it works display mode Let, let's see if it works okay otherwise i would need to probably think a little bit more but and 
the same for this one. Otherwise, I will probably need to add a converter. Okay, so let's see what happened. Okay, change that and display mode. Use a different one. This was this one mode. Run variable. Okay, there we go. So let's go back. Simulate. Yeah, I need to use a converter. <laughs> Range C not range numeric range two. So you see zero is gonna be one, and if it's other thing, it's gonna be zero. Um, I did if I'm not wrong, something related to this in the past to spray the converters. So I won't. If you want, you can take a look to the video. Uh, but basically, the converter will allow me to change the, um, the com to convert the number zero to to one to disappear the variable um, to make it disappear to cause the effect that I want you to see. Help simulate there we go so when it's this mode is going to be zero uh, everything is hide okay and then when i change this it's going to be historical you can see the information too here you can see that i can see the the cursor i can move it okay and i can travel on time so if it's 12 24 uh, 78. Also, here you can see that I move, and I can also move from here. Okay. Um, and I believe that's it for the story card. I uh, just need to remember that you need to use the variable that you have configured on the on the logins. Okay. On the logins, you just need to add the log, add the variable that you want. Remember that you need to be cautious on the how this max record, okay? Because this will be the limit of historical data that you're going to have, and you need to check how this will affect the data for the log on the screen. If it succeed, then you just need to use a USB storage, okay? Uh, to store the data, to have the historical data over there. Then what we can do later in the next video is how we can export the information. That would be for another session. But um, this is how you can make the historical, uh, how you can transform the actual trend into historical trend to see more data over there. Okay, a long time. Uh, as you can see, it's very easy. Just need to know the different variables that you have inside the trend otherwise it's going to be a little bit more complicated uh, but once you know that it's going to be very easy just you can also use the function block uh, the blocks that we have on the script in order to make the life easier so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one